Hi there, Gemini. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Gemini for this upcoming week in October. So Gemini, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, if you're a brand new viewer, welcome. Um, I am giving a brief introduction, but there is more specific information in the description box below. I'm so glad that you're giving me the opportunity to read for you. I hope the readings resonate. And I hope that you come back for more and I hope you stick around. Um, returning viewers, welcome back. Thanks so much for supporting me and my channel. Um, I'm glad you're coming back for more and I'm glad you're enjoying the readings. I hope that they're resonating and I hope that they're helpful. So I want to remind all of you viewing that this is a general reading and that means that it can apply to any kind of relationship, situation, or circumstance that you might be dealing with. Don't forget to be flexible with the energy. You can interchange the roles within the reading. Regardless of the gender of the cards, that means you can be represented by any of the characters that shows up in the cards. Parts of the reading may resonate, other parts may not, so take what does and leave behind the rest. I hope that you enjoy the reading and I hope you get something beneficial out of it. That's my intention, Gemini. So we're going to get started. Let's go ahead and, ahead and give this deck one more shuffle and a cut. And then we're going to see what's up for Gemini. Here we go. We're going to start off with the Three of Cups, paired with the Two of Swords, the World, Five of Swords in Reverse, the Tower in Reverse. The Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands in Reverse, and then we have the Chariot. So I think you're dealing with a, a group dynamic, could be a family situation, a um, circumstance surrounding people at work, colleagues or coworkers. This could be a group dynamic or social circle, for example, group of friends. With the Three of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. So I just get the sense that this is um, involving a group dynamic. Now we have the Five of Pentacles out here as well and the Tower. Of course, I don't usually talk much about the numbers of the cards, but Five does indicate change and the Tower often indicates significant change in one's life. With this in reverse, it feels like it was something that was unpreventable or something that you couldn't influence, something that maybe needed to happen. Um, feels like there is or was or needs to be a decision made regarding a group of people or a group dynamic. Let's get some more cards out here. Let's see what else we get before I do any more. Strength. King of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and then we have the sun, clarifying the chariot. So I feel that we have at least two people in the reading so far. We have a king and queen of swords. Both of these people are in reverse. I feel like there's a disagreement between these two or there could be a conflict or an argument or something that, that is not resolved. 
something it could have to do with money or finances it feels like it could be a family or home dynamic but there is a, definitely some disruption and some disharmony within a group dynamic and I think it centers around these two people this king and queen of swords who feel like they're at odds This Page of Cups um, makes me feel like there could be a child or children involved in this situation. It feels like it could potentially be a broken home, um, possibly meaning separation or divorce or something of that nature. It doesn't necessarily have to be that, but it feels like there's some sense of loss. Um, and it could have to do with financial loss, but it could also have to do with like a broken um group dynamic family um feeling like someone's getting kicked out or left out or left behind let's get some more cards out on the table for gemini and see what else we get we've got the seven of pentacles The lovers. Three of Cups is on the bottom of the deck again. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles. loud airplane outside my window. You can probably hear it. Ten of swords in reverse. Eight of swords in reverse. The emperor. And then the um, Five of Swords, I, I could not for some reason <laughs> tell what that card was. Five of Swords in reverse is over here as well. Okay, so this King of Swords, this is a two person reading with possible um, group dynamic, meaning there could be other, be other people involved specifically. It could be a family dynamic or there could be children or extended family involved. I feel like there's a decision that's being made or has been made or will be made. I think that this King of Swords has some kind of control or power over the situation or he, for whatever reason, feels like he has more of an influence on how things are moving forward. This is definitely a conflict. It feels like it it feels a lot like a um, broken relationship, if I'm being honest. But it could be, it it could be any kind of connection. This could these could be business partners or um, family members who are disagreeing and maybe parting ways. It doesn't have to necessarily be a marriage or partnership, intimate partnership. But it it that's what it feels like to me. It feels like it's. Um, a long-standing relationship. I feel like a lot of energy and um, effort has been put forth into this connection. And I feel like this, this King of Swords, for whatever reason, he's got a decision to make or he is in the position of making a decision. And he does feel like this Emperor energy too. And I think he's aware that, that whatever decision he makes, it's not only significant but it feels like it's, for whatever reason, he's got the upper hand um, in this group dynamic. He's got control of the situation or I mean, this could potentially mean, let's say, for example, this is a, a married couple and this king of swords is representing someone who 
is the head of the household. Maybe this is the person who brings in um, the bulk of the income to support this group dynamic or family dynamic. And it feels like there's some kind of decision. It does feel like it is a conflict, separation, disagreement, something where these two could potentially be parting ways because of this conflict. It's definitely going to affect other people. I think that this King of Swords is aware of his position and the power that he has. And I don't and I don't say power in that like he's a boss or I mean he could be, but I mean I, I don't mean like he's got control over everything that happens. He for some reason he's in a position where a decision that he needs to or has made or will be making is going to affect this Queen of Swords and then other parties attached to the situation. Now, I feel like this Queen of Swords has been here before. I feel like she is, this feels like, um, with the Ten of Swords for me, um, the, one of the big meanings I get off the Ten of Swords when it's in reverse is kind of revisiting something that's already happened in the past or something that you thought you had closed out or something you thought had ended and it's come back or it's happening again or it's a repeated event or something was unresolved and so that you're having to revisit and start again or start over. It's usually tied to something that's very painful and difficult. Could be difficult to think about, could be difficult to come to terms with, but I feel like this Queen of Swords in reverse, for some reason it feels like she's experienced this before or she's familiar with, um, like she's, she knows what's going to happen or she she's she's been here before she's experienced this before she's been around the block a few times when it comes to whatever's going on this queen of swords in particular feels a little bit resistant possibly resistant to communication I think these people are both definitely feeling upset or angry or lack, you know, there's this lack of communication or an inability to maybe be um, open with one another. I think that this definitely could um, have something to do with finances or the home or maybe a business um, but there's definitely um, pentacles or financial element to this reading let's get some more cards out here we have the four of cups in reverse the chariot again Ace of Pentacles. The Moon in Reverse. Justice. Clarifying this Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles this time in reverse. And then we have the Devil in reverse. But I feel like this king, this emperor energy is moving on. This, this, I feel like there's a decision that of, of travel or get, getting away or getting out of the situation or separation. It feels like there is this need to get away. And it's because of this conflict. Um, 
Um, so I'm getting more strongly with this round of cards that there could very well potentially be some kind of job or business or um, collaborative um, effort. Like there is some kind of potentially legal um, decision being made with regard to something of that nature where something is being split up or assets are being divided or there's a decision being made regarding who gets what. Let's get this last round out for Gemini and I'll look at these cards a little bit more in depth and see what else I can get for you. So we have a Queen of Pentacles now in reverse and then we have Death. King of Cups in reverse. Nine of, of Wands. Knight of Swords in reverse. The Lovers this time in reverse. Four of Pentacles this time in reverse. And then we have the Five of Swords again in the upright. Twice with this set of cards. Once in the reverse. It was the fourth card out in your reading. Sorry, now I feel like I'm mumbling a little bit. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on here, Gemini. This feels, this feels like... Um, some kind of decision is being made. It feels like it could be a legal decision. I've done two other readings already today and there's been a kind of a similar theme in the readings. Like things are being separated, things are being divided, things are being allocated. There's an ending here, or an ending that has been in the works for a while. Um, I think that there is one party in this situation who has a leg up on the other, or they're in a better position, and it's this king energy. He's aware of it. This queen, um, this queen's energy, and I feel like she's the queen of pentacles also. I feel like this person feels really upset with whatever decisions are being made, will be made, are expected to be made. But there is some kind of sense that there is a legal decision occurring here with justice. It feels less emotional to me. I think it's I think it's emotion. I mean, things like this always are, right? But it's not about the relate the, the emotional connection of this relationship. This is more about a, a connection between two people who share assets, share a business, potentially share a family. I do feel like it potentially could be a, a marriage or connection in that sense. But there is some uncertainty surrounding how others will be affected by the end of this relationship. I feel like it's something that's necessary. I feel like it's something that needs to happen. So it's again, it's not so much that emotional piece tied to this connection. It's more about tangible things and then how others are being affected. I think some, some poor choices or poor decisions were made for the wrong reasons. 
tied to this queen of swords. I think she made decisions um, for other people or um, because of other people. Not like she was, I mean, it's possible. It feels like she made decisions um, because of other people's influence in the situation. Maybe not so much because of they were decisions she wanted to make is what I'm trying to say. I hope that makes sense, Gemini. This king... is more concerned I feel like this king is more concerned about the outcome of the situation regarding the tangible pieces or what he's going to get out of it or what he will be able to acquire out of the situation rather than the connection itself in other words the emotional connect is gone the um desire to repair the relationship just doesn't exist in this situation it's not it's not about the relationship anymore based on what i'm seeing in the cards although there's concern regarding other people tied to the situation i hope that makes sense the relationship between this king and queen of swords is not of any concern anymore for either one of these parties but there is some concern related to how the situation is affecting other people tied to this circumstance I feel like this king is leaving something behind, but for some reason there's this feeling like he's gaining something as well. But it's 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 for him and him alone. In other words, he's the only one who's going to benefit from this. I don't get the sense so much that he is taking something and leaving other people high and dry. I don't get that sense. So in other words, I don't feel like he's acting unjustly or he's trying to be manipulative, even though I, I think both of these people are in some shadow energy for sure. This king feels like he's not doing anything, I don't think, that would intentionally hurt other people, but he is also aware that the decisions he's making will inadvertently hurt other people and benefit him. I don't necessarily believe that it's his intention for that to occur but I do believe that seems to be one of the outcomes regarding the situation I think he's also There's a sense with, with this set of cards that he is trying to avoid the perception that he is gaining something out of the situation versus this queen not. For example, I don't think he would he wants to be perceived as somebody who's doing something for personal gain and that's the only reason behind it because I don't believe that's the case necessarily I hope this makes sense it's it's um, kind of an interesting reading Gemini I don't feel like these two are getting along. I don't think that there is, again, it doesn't, it feels like at this point in time, there's no love loss. I think this relationship, which feels like it at least was it significant at one time, um, has um, come to an end and rightfully so. I think it needs to, but It's almost like these two people um, knowingly are facing a situation where 
they realize others are being affected by the situation. I don't know that it can be helped. I think that there is some regret. I think that there is some reflection and at least an attempt even though this feels like an uncomfortable ugly situation there's an attempt to at least on this king's behalf to on this king's behalf there's an attempt to do things the right way even though the conflict itself cannot be avoided But the very act of this relationship ending, um, or if it's, you know, again, business connection, wherever the case may be, these two people are going their separate ways. This king is benefiting from this um, separation of this relationship, this disconnect. This king is benefiting from this disconnect where this, this queen is not. Um, But it can't be helped. It's just, I don't even, I don't know how to describe it. Because it feels so wrong. It feels so, I don't know, it feels a little bit off and weird. But that's what I've got. Okay, so I'm going to try to get a Dreams of Gaia Tarot card for you, Gemini. I'll look at these a little bit more while I'm trying to get a card from the deck. Let's see if I can't make anything else out with this set of cards. There's something about this king moving away from the situation or getting away from the situation or leaving now while while the getting's good, so to speak. Some kind of need for him to go ahead and move on. Just get past this once and for all. Once he does, um, I think things can move forward for this queen. But he needs to, it's almost like he just needs to get out of the way. Okay, just go on, do your thing, go, just go. And I don't, I don't necessarily feel like this queen, um, is overly concerned about this king or what he's doing or his needs. I think she's more concerned about the others involved in the situation. Specifically children, if there's children involved. I keep looking at this page of cups thinking there's a child involved here or there's or there's children. And I think the situation is <clears throat> not as cut and dry for these external parties who seem to be kind of stuck in the middle. Wow. The scribe in reverse. Okay, so this came out in <clears throat> was it Aries? This came out in um, the Aries reading, I believe, in reverse. So there might be something in that reading, Gemini, for you as well. Interesting because I've used this deck now for Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. So I did them in order and have shuffled this deck many, many times um, throughout those three readings and this card popped up again. So the scribe is the knight of um, air or knight of swords, um, which did come out in your reading in reverse toward the ending of the reading. And this card has to do with protecting yourself um, staying guarded, keeping information to yourself, uh, not sharing your knowledge, that kind of thing. So I'm going to read it from the book. It is a potential blockage if it's in reverse. And I'll, I'll display the card for you in the upright. Here we go, Gemini. The scribe reversed symbolizes a need to keep your cards close and what you know to yourself. There is a chance that someone around you is only interested in harvesting your knowledge on a particular subject so that they can use the information that you have in order to better themselves. 
If it were a sharing of knowledge, it would be an opportunity for a great mutual exchange and meeting of the minds. However, when the scribe appears reversed, this is most likely not the case. It also signifies a need for you to censor yourself. Even if there is no specific person seeking a be to benefit personally from your knowledge, you might be giving out too much personal information about yourself and be placing yourself at risk of someone taking advantage of the knowledge you share. Protect your personal and private information. It is far too easy for others to take advantage if you give them the means to do so without considering the risk and consequences. So this is interesting that this card came out again. And I, and, um, I did tell you earlier, too, that I thought that the readings that I've been doing this morning, all three of them had feel like they've been kind of had similar themes. So maybe there's something in the Taurus reading for you as well. I don't know, Gemini, but it is strange that these all seem to kind of have the same theme. Um, and the King and, Queen and Sword, King and Queen of Swords have been active this morning in the readings. Um, I do feel like this could be advice for either or both of these parties, especially if this is a um, legal situation where there's some decisions to be made. Um, so I'm just going to say, and I'll leave it alone after I do, that, you know, certainly take care of yourself, um, be on guard, uh, protect yourself, and do what you need to do to make things right in this situation. I, I think it sounds, it feels like it's a very difficult situation, but I think that, that these are two people coming from very different perspectives. There's a lot of clashing going on, and, and I do get the sense that um, this conflict, whatever it is, both parties are going to move on without being totally satisfied with whatever the resolution looks like. It feels like it's one of those conflicts where the two sides are just too far apart for there to be a meeting in the middle. And with the Two of Swords that came out as your second card, um, it could be that there's just simply a lack of compromise and unwillingness or, or inability to compromise or resolve the situation. So I'm going to leave that there. Gemini, I hope the reading was helpful to you. I hope that um, you got something beneficial out of it. So I appreciate you for watching. I um, wish the best for you in this situation. If the reading did resonate, please like, share, subscribe. If you feel like leaving a comment, that's always great too. Thanks so much again for watching, Gemini, and I will see you next time.